All right, let's do some warm up so we can do a little balance today. Okay, so come into your mountain pose. Feet hip width apart, sitting bones down, shoulders back and down, and just relax your arms. Core activated, so those ribs go towards your spine and then up and feel that lengthening through your spine. Crown toward the ceiling, spread your toes out. Take a moment to focus inward and breathe. And just be in your body and your practice today. Inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch those fingertips out, shoulders still down. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows a little bit back. Inhale, stretch your arms forward, shoulders down. And then bring your hands behind and clasp. Lift your heart and stretch back. Exhale and pivot over, bring your hands up and your head down, spread your toes out. Lift your sitting bones, move your head around, release your neck. And then chin in, sitting bones down, lift your ribs and slowly come back up. And lift your heart for a little upper body back. Reach your head back, keep breathing and relax. And then inhale to the top, release your arms and take a moment just feeling the circulation as it increases. And again, inhale the arms at shoulder level, shoulders down, hands to your heart. Inhale out to the front, shoulders still down. And then hands behind you, clasp the other way. Other finger outside as you lift your heart, nice back bend, and exhale over. And again, just come as deep into your forward position as you want this time. Again, move your neck around, chin circling maybe the other way. Hands up, head down, lift your sitting bones, and then bend your knees slightly as you wind your way back slowly up and into the back bend. Just heart high, shoulders down, head back, and as much or as little as you need today. And then inhale to the top, release your arms. Take a moment, just notice how things are responding. Hold your side stretch, one arm down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand right above your shoulder. Stretch the hands away and no twist, just lean over to the side. So slide this hand on your leg down, reach that arm next to your ear out to the side. And remember, don't lean forward. So push the foot you're leaning away from for that extra stretch. And then inhale up, release your arm, and again, just center into both feet evenly. Other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, push them apart and slide over to the side. And again, only as far as your body wants today. Keep lengthening through the fingertips and your head, Sliding that hand on your leg down. Remember, no leaning forward, just get those ribs stretching apart. And again, inhale back up and into mountain pose. Feel your body, relax, stretch up through your spine, and arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows for a twist. So sitting bones down, base of the skull up, stretch the spine, and exhale, turning hips from the shoulder to the side in your twist. Another breath and exhale, coming over. Arms near your ears and just deepen as far as you like. Feel what's going on in your body. See if your weight is on both feet as evenly as possible. And then arms stay by your ears while you stay in your twist on the way up. Heart toward the ceiling, elbows back, shoulders down. And just take a few breaths. Little upper body back bend, remember gentle on your low back while you're twisting. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. Pull them back by the ears, stretch your spine apart again and exhale toward the other side. And another breath and then exhale forward. 
And again, just deepen on this side as far as you'd like to go and relax. See if your weight is on both feet still as evenly as you can. And then when you're ready to come up, just inhale, keeping your arms by your ears all the way into that upper body back bend one more time. Lift your heart, pull your elbows back, shoulders down. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center, arms up, and then swan dive forward, chest leading, come parallel to the floor, stretch it out, and then exhale and relax. Arms just hanging. Take a moment there, pull in deeper if you want to with your hands behind your legs or not, your choice. Feel that stretch on the back of your body. And then arms back to the center and another roll up from the bottom of your spine all the way, shoulders back and down. And again, mountain pose, just feeling your spine a little bit more activated and breathe. So let's sink into both feet evenly and stretch up and just gently side to side, getting that spine a little bit more activated. So breathe deep. Keep reaching the head up, shoulders down, and just follow your hands to each side as you swing just gently into that twist. And then back to the center and our back stroke and swimming, moving those shoulders a little bit around. And then release back into mountain pose. So sink into your feet. We'll do our balance warm up first. So find your balance foot, spread the toes out, no gripping, get the base of the toes really connected. That's where you get the good support, not the toes themselves. Arch lifting, everything stacked, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder. So remember a little roll in at the top of the thigh to keep things aligned so they're well supporting you. Crown to the ceiling, core active. So get that spine supported, ribs towards your spine and up and get that midsection supporting your low back. And then bring your other foot up a little or more or towards your heart. Remember again, roll in at the top of the thigh so you're not crossing that leg over. And then circle at the ankle, getting it nice and flexible. And straighten it out. And bring your foot down. Switch to the other side, improve what you need to and get those toes straight ahead. Remember that knee goes towards your second toe, so you're not keying in or out, but everything is stacked. Core activated, sitting bones down, lengthen your spine, keep breathing. And again, when you're ready to sink into that foot, the other foot comes up. Balance challenge, keep it down close to the floor or bring it up as high as it wants to go on this side. And again, just work your ankle. And once more, release and back into that pose. Take a moment as you get down and breathe. And then bring one arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, palm facing toward your head. And then the other hand opens out to the side. So they connect into your balanced foot and bring the other foot up and hold either the arch or the ankle or the foot and bring the knees together. And then if your thigh isn't cramping, you can go further and push your hand and your foot together and just counterbalance. So the hip joint is your pivot point and just both shoulders facing the front, both hips facing the front and coming into dancer pose. And then inhale back upright and release back into mountain. Feel what went on for that position. And of course, we're going to balance the body and do the other side. So again, hips and shoulders stay to the front. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, palm facing your head. And again, sink into your balanced foot. Core active, everything stretching apart. And once again, palm open to the front as you lift that foot. And again, hold the foot or the ankle or the toes or whatever works for you and bring those legs close together with the knee. Stay there or push your foot and hand. And again, pivot at the top of that thigh 
and reach the hand a little bit forward for pyramid balance. Take a breath. And then come back upright, release your foot and your arms and shake things out a little bit. Then we're gonna do one more. This one's a weird one. This is a two-footed balance. So if you've got a wall, you can just step close to the wall and get your heels kind of even on the wall. And then sink into your balance foot, everything lined up, and then put the other foot right in front and get evenly situated over both feet with the heel kind of between the big toe and the second toe. And then if you feel unbalanced here, just stay with your eyes open. And you can move your arms around however it works for you. Don't lean back into the wall. That's just to give you one less direction that you might feel uncomfortably oriented toward. And then if you're good with this, you can close your eyes and just sink evenly into both feet. It's not as easy as you expect it will be. And then if you've got your eyes closed, go ahead and open them and bring your foot back next to the other one. And again, just breathe. Sink into both feet. And of course, we're going to do it with the other foot in front. You may find one is easier than the other. So again, sink into your balance foot, get everything straight and activated, and bring your second foot in front, heel right in front of those big toe and second toe. Get your balance first, stay there with your eyes open if you need to, find a spot ahead of you on the floor or eye level. Stay there or close your eyes if you're stable and see how that goes. More challenging than you expect. And again, coming back, both feet next to the wall. <laughs> and got two on that. Okay, so back into mountain pose. Take a breath. Exhale all that balance stress. Hands to your heart. Inhale, palms toward the ceiling, palms together, and a little back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivoting over, and all the way down into right palm. Hands up on your shins, halfway up, stretch everything straight, elbows, knees, and spine. Exhale, back down, palms together, inhaling. And again, hands to your heart, and then continue into the back bend, extending your arms. And once more, hands back, head reaching away, and exhale to your heart and back in pose. And then once again, bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands meet overhead, swan dive forward, and come all the way down to the mat. Child's pose. Sink your hips to your heels, hands palms up at your side, and forehead down. Take a moment and breathe. Relax your shoulders, move your head around. Then let's circle those chins. Just nice big circles, getting that neck releasing. And then circle the other way. And again, just release any tension. And then back into child's pose, just release and relax. You can spread your knees and just sink deeper if you want. And then chin in, slide all the way up and into a left arm to a cross leg position. So just sitting bones behind you, crown high and breathe. Yeah, I'm feeling a little dizzy. So I'm going to blame that on my shingle shot. So sitting bones behind you, stretch up through the crown, get that core activated, hands cupped around your knees, and then bring your ribs back, push the ribs toward the wall behind you or whatever's behind you, bring your forehead down between your legs, 
and then roll over to one side, face forward, lift your heart, looking up, sink over to the other side, and come back down. And a few times going through that circle, breathing with it, just feel your spine getting a little bit more activated as you lift your heart, exhaling, sinking back down. And when you come to the front again, pause and circle the other way, of course, balancing the body, face forward, crow, pushing back as you lift your heart and then looking toward the floor as you come back to the center. And just fast or slow, whatever is right for your body today. Just getting that whole rotation through the whole spine as you breathe. And again, the next time you're forward, pause there. Inhale and sit up. And bring your legs out into stacked position. Take a moment there. Get everything aligned and balanced and breathe. Bring the bottoms of your feet together into butterfly. Just pull the heels in close to your body. You can wrap your hands around your toes or your, or your foot. And lengthen up through the spine. Lift your heart forward and up. Look toward the ceiling just gently. Let those legs relax. And then bring your hands behind you. Just gently, fingertips or palms down. And then release and relax that upper leg area. Let those knees maybe come a little further down. Heart high, so chest forward and up. Look toward the ceiling just gently and open across the chest. Take a breath. Exhale, relaxing. And then bring your hands back to the center. Lift your knees and bring your legs out. And again, in staff position, activate your core. And let's roll onto our backs. So slowly, core activated, bring the back, lower back, and lower ribs and the shoulder blades and shoulders all the way down. Reclined in duration, just take a moment there and breathe. Exhale, tension. And then feet hip width apart, sitting bones toward your heels, press your back down with those knees bent a little bit, hands next to you, and bring your heels in next to your sitting bones. So remember, roll in at the top of the thigh so those knees stay straight up, not spreading apart or sinking in together, but straight up. Press your back down as you exhale, and then lift your ribs and just get a little low back strengthener here. So sitting bones toward your heels, exhaling, pressing all the way down with your spine, core activating. And then inhaling, ribs coming up, sitting bones down. So you're arching from your sitting bones to your shoulder blades. And just a few times doing that back strengthener, letting your body go through its range of motion, activating a little bit more activation in the core and spine. And then come back to neutral, just relax, shoulders down, hands, palms down at your sides, feet hip width apart, remember still knees straight up, press that spine down again, core activating, pressing down, and then inhale, hip bones coming up, coming into just a little gentle bridge. So push into your feet evenly into the base of the toes and heels, lift the sitting bones only as high as they want to go today, not a lot of stress and strain. Hands, palms down, or you can clasp them under you, bring that little finger inside the hand and work up onto the tops of your shoulders. So a little bit higher on that chest as you come onto your shoulders. Hips hip width apart, oh yeah, duh. And knees hip width apart, <laughs> lift the hips. Take a moment, breathing. And then release your hands, release your shoulders, come onto your shoulder blades, then your lower ribs and your lower back, and all the way down onto the mat. Feel a little more circulation from the back bend. And we're gonna do the same thing, but clasping the hands the opposite way so that other little finger comes inside. 
So again, start hands on palms down on the floor. Exhale, sitting bones towards your heels, pressing the back down. Inhale, lift those hip bones right at the top of your thighs, coming up into a bridge. Stay there, palms down, or clasp the hands the opposite finger inside and work up higher onto your shoulders, not your neck at all. Keep those knees still hip width apart, hips going straight up toward the ceiling, both feet supporting you evenly as you're on your shoulders, not your neck. So shoulders are down, back of the head is supporting, arms and hands pressing down and feet evenly into the ground. Again, only as high as you want to go on this bridge. And then releasing your hands, releasing your shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine. Everything back onto the mat. This time, press the back down, draw your knees towards your heart. You can lift your head and bring your forehead up towards your knees, get a nice little forward bend to counteract that back bend. And then head to the mat, hands down, and feet back to the floor. Go ahead and slide out into a little corpse position, reclined integration. And just take a moment, feeling your body. Relax everything down. Now, we're going to do a, another back bend. This one's a little more intense, so remember, do what's right for your body. You don't ever have to go full into this position. It's called fish. We did it the other day. So bring your hands, palms down, and put your thumbs under your sitting bones, under your buttocks. Elbows in toward your sides. So your forearms are on the floor, your palms are down. And then press into your arms and elbows and lift your whole upper body and look at your feet. So only as high as you want to go here. And you can stay supported on your elbows, rotate your face and look up and just drop the crown, the top of your head toward the floor. It doesn't have to go there. If you stay on your elbows, supported, you can just go as far as you want. If your head touches down on the crown and it feels okay, if you love it, you can release your hands and bring them together on top of your chest, fingertips toward the ceiling. So upper body back bend, mostly lifting that heart, shoulder blades toward your waist. If you got onto your head and you said, oops, that was a mistake, bring your elbows down, support yourself to lift your head. And again, head toward the chin and just bring your body down. If you're in the back bend and you love it, you can stay there for a few breaths or you can extend the arms a little bit further overhead if you want. And again, just breathe wherever you are. If you want to go back into corpse position anytime, do it. And if your arms are out, bring them back down, palms to the floor. You can brace the thumbs again under you, elbows in, lift your upper body, look toward your toes, and then lower back down, ribs down, shoulder blades down, and spine down. And again, just take a moment as you get back onto the floor. Breathe and relax. Feel a little bit more opening across that heart area. And then we're going to bring our arms to the sides, palms up for down. We're going to do our bent knee twist. So either way you want to do it. The palms down, holds your shoulders a little bit more stable, but it's up to you which way you want to do it. Sitting bones toward your heels, press your back down, bring those heels in right near your sitting bones again. And then press the back down and bring your feet off the floor, knees right above your hips. Just roll the knees over to one side, right at hip level. And if they don't go to the floor, you can keep your toes down or support with a pillow under your knees. Head turning toward that opposite arm. Remember, neck area twist, be gentle there if you need to. If you like the lower back twist as your knees go toward the floor, you can bring them further up toward your elbow, or you can extend them out straight. That gives that lower back a little bit more twist action. So do it only if that's right for you. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, letting that middle back get a good twist. Take a few breaths here, just relaxing. Maximize or minimize whatever's right for your body in this twist today. 
And then heels back towards your hips and roll on through the back. And as you get back into your straight position, you can bring your feet down if you need to straighten things out before we twist to the opposite side. And again, just get everything nicely aligned. Knees right above your hips. And roll those knees over as far toward the floor on this side as they want. Roll your head toward the opposite side. So remember, don't lift the head. Don't want to overstrain your neck. And again, shoulders down, arms relaxed, knees toward the floor, head turning. Support where you need to. Minimize or maximize what's right for you. And again, if you love the lower back getting more, knees toward your elbow or extend your legs out straight. Take a breath. Exhale and deepen into that twist as much as your body wants to do. Exhale, tension, breathe. And when you're ready to release, bring your heels back toward your hips and roll onto your back. And this time, bring your feet to the floor and we'll release. If you've got your extra mat or your pillow, we're going to use that today for our relaxation. So two things you can do. You can keep the mat rolled up and just put it the long way under your body. So if you want to sit up, you can put the end of the mat right near your lower back and then just roll your upper body onto the mat and extend your legs. Relaxing them, extend your arms out to the sides, or you can bring them back to your hip level into corpse position, but with your body in a little bit of a back bend. If you love a back bend and you want more, instead of doing it the long way, you can do it the cross way and put the um, mat under your lower shoulder blades and a little bit of a back bend, or you can bring it further up into your upper shoulder blades and upper back area, and a little bit more in the heart area for your back bend. You keep the arms out to the side or bring them down next to your body. So whichever way is right for you, just come into your position and feel that support of the mat underneath you, giving you a little bit more Heart opening across the upper body, whichever way your neck is. And then just take a few breaths and let your body really relax. So if instead of a mat, you've got a pillow, just make whatever adjustments you need to allow that heart opening. And sometimes if you've got a lot of forward motion in your shoulders and you feel like you're always crunching in, at your computer or doing your kitchen work or whatever you're doing, driving. You can, when you go to bed, put your pillow under your upper back like this and allow yourself to have a little bit more back bending heart opening as you sleep. But for now, we're just going to do what's right for your relaxation. So let your spine release and relax, shoulders relax, torso relax. Let your lower body just soften and sink. Toes up toward the ceiling or a little bit out, but not too far. And again, back of your head on the floor, just giving you a good amount of support. Or at the mat the long way, your head may be on the mat. That's okay. And then just take a few breaths. Notice where you've got any tension left and just let your body go. Let it grow heavy, just sink deeper into that mat or pillow or surface that you see. And let your body completely relax. Deep breaths. Exhaling tension, just let everything go. As your body relaxes even more, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. Allow your mind to drift as well. You don't need to think of the past or anticipate the future. Just allow your body to release and your mind to float. Just allowing your awareness to turn toward that peace within. Deep breaths, exhaling tension, letting your body just release into the earth and your mind float freely. 
No need to pay attention to any of the content of your thoughts. Fill your body with peace and your mind. And that inner peace just flow through. Deep breaths, just relaxing completely. Heart open, mind free, and relax. We can, we keep relaxing today. Feel free to relax as long as you like. Not at any point, release your extra mat. Just roll over to the side and remove it. If you're just ready to begin moving gently, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Give yourself just a gentle stretch, however feels good for you today. You still got that mat underneath you. You can just roll your shoulders around on it, off to the sides, in whatever position that is. And then when you're ready to release the mat, just roll over to the side. We move the mat over to the side and let the body relax gently into the surface beneath you. When you're ready for your yoga hug of appreciation, sitting arms towards your heels as you bend your knees, heels up towards your hips. And then your knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around however it feels right today. Put your head up if you want that. You could fold forward bend to counteract that gentle back bend we relaxed with. And when you're ready to release, bring your head to the floor and your feet down. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.